what's good family we are back at again with another video i hope you guys are having a good day good night good afternoon wherever you guys are at remember every day is a new day to go get it no matter how bad the day is feeling you still have to get up and go get it you cannot waste the day so cap city hit me up if you guys know about cap city it's actually the shirt i'm wearing right now it's one of their clothing but they also have very nice hats and they actually reached out to me saying hey pull up we got some drift for you we're going to see what's up, and we're going to check out the hats that they have as well. Uh, i never been to this store before. It's in Burbank, so I'm about to pull up right now. I just need to go upstairs. Yo, fam, I just pulled up to the store. They got some crazy selection. Stuff i never seen before. Check it out. The drip too. Yo, fam, they said I could literally just grab some drip, fam, and I'm just literally like, I'm blast, fam. Shout out to Cap City for real. They just told me to pick up some drip, and I'm just gonna see which hat I like the most, and yeah, they got a lot of options though. Check out Cap City got some dope pins right here. For your hat, got the cruise right there. to come home and change real quick they actually hooked me up they let me pick out some drip let me pick out some hats they had a lot of options i went with this one it's like a nice little snapback but it's an la one that got like a nice little heart a lot of dope hat options a lot of shirt options the shirts are really high quality they sent me some shirts before i washed those shirts hella times and i still use them they still look nice the quality on these shirts will definitely not disappoint you super heavyweight Check out this overall print. But shout out to my guy Rodrigo who actually helped me out in the store. Super dope guy. As well my guy Ruben who actually got me in contact with Cap City. Got me some drip. Appreciate the people over there at Cap City. For real, super nice people. I pulled up to the location in Burbank. But they also have more locations. So if you're not near Burbank, you can still get your drip up. I'm going to leave their Instagram right here. So you guys can go check out their locations they have around la i'm gonna pull up on my boy nate he said hey pull up to the grow i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to record but i wanted to pull up to the grow he's actually in the same kind of city where i'm at not too far so i'm like you know what i'm definitely gonna pull up i love the plant i want to go see what you're growing actually follow my boy life sauce on instagram i've been seeing his work his work looks amazing so i appreciate my boy nate for inviting me to his grow and go check out the fire so here as you can see the start yeah Is that a good um, temperature too, huh? It has, to, it has to feel like a fucking jungle. That's basically it. Oh, yeah. Shout out my guy Nate right here. Inviting me to his grill. Appreciate you, bro. From Life Sauce. Yeah. And check out the Zai. The start, huh, bro? It's fucking yeah. crazy, yeah, bro. Fucking five rows honestly you can fucking pop up here real quick. Well oh, brother. <laughs> you good? I don't wanna drop it. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna like show that is the same Oh this is like heaven Nate Walking through the Zaza. You think it's you call me real quick? Yeah, of course. But this right here is heaven. Just looking through the plant, different stages of it. Shout out to my guy Nate showing me around for real. What is this, bro, if you don't mind me asking? So these are all, uh, I'm known for growing candy, so. Candy. This candy is uh, a lot of candy strains. It does smell like candy. As soon as I walked in here, Straight pressure. Uh -huh. So we got two different strains. We typically try to do like one strain per bench so that this way we could keep them, irrigate them the same. 
plants are just like humans, you know? You gotta take care, it's like a little baby. Just like a baby, but yeah, if you're taller, you might eat more, you know? If you're shorter, you might eat less. So, same kind of stuff. Same thing with the plant. Yep. This one's a little bit later too. A little later. I do it under canopy too, it'll be fucking. This is the Cambodian. Uh, this is some Pinos that were all different. Different strains. Yeah, so these are all different Pinos. We keep them in front just in case they're a male. So if they're a male, they can fuck up the whole room. So wow. by hunting, people don't realize, but by hunting other genetics, if it's not female seeds and I'm hunting regular seeds, you could mess up. Uh, it could fuck up my whole room. So if this room is worth a couple hundred thousand dollars, wow. these like nine plants here could fucking fuck up my whole room. Wow. So we got we keep them in front to make sure that we don't see any male characteristics or herms or something like that that can pollinate and fuck up the whole room. Yeah. So, could mess up the whole grow basically. Yeah, so this whole grow right trying here. Trying to hunt fire is kind of dangerous too if you're in a production. Fuck up everything else. Wow. You don't want that. So nah, we keep it in front. So yeah, these are looking fire. This is fucking UK XO cheese bred by uh wow. nine weeks harvest, yeah. The cheese train. Yeah. Damn, this is a, this is a cheese train. You don't see a cheese train that often. Uh, definitely not. Let's you not don't. Really and we got like nine different females. I tried a cheese train from uh, Tenko. Yes, yeah, so this is the same. Tenko. I got from Nine Weeks Harvest, which is uh, got see all the white on it. So we spray sulfur to make sure that uh, it's a no light room. Uh, we see different plant characteristics. This is on Lemon Z. So this grows a lot bushier than a plant like this that's a little bit lengthier and different. So again, just like any human, you know. One guy could be skinnier, yes. one guy could be fatter. And based on that, you know, they eat and act differently. So we try to keep right. those, those little black circles at the end gives us the option to irrigate it differently. The point of that thing, not the light? Is so um, the, the plants, what we're doing in the indoor facility is we're yeah. cramming in uh, four seasons, basically, and trying to mimic four seasons of what the plant life cycle would be outside, indoor, within around 60 days. Oh. So in order to manipulate that, what yeah. we do is we play with the light cycle. Oh, I see, I see, I see. To, you know, speed yeah. up that whole process. So uh, because of that light cycle, once they're in the flowering stage, uh, there's specific hours where they have to be sleeping, quote unquote. So hence the green light, so that just so we don't confuse them, oh, stress see, them out too much in a way where they can, you know. Thank you, Nate. Not maximize their potential, basically, and grow optimal flowers. So we try to, if we have to go into a room when it's off, and we do to check to make sure everything's good, we make sure that we use the green light and not. Because the, the lights do come on, though, right? Our yeah. Stage? No, they they come on every 12 hours. Okay. So it's a 12 light cycle once you get into the flower. Station because of the flower stuff that's coming down. It's like consider like this. Imagine if someone covered your nose or your mouth. This is where everything actually starts. Where it really starts. Yeah, so all the moms that you saw in the mom room, basically we try and rotate them every three months because we're constantly taking cuts off of them for full production. So, you know, we don't want to wear them out and water them down, basically. So every two to three months we're trying to rotate our moms, taking the cuts, apart from the regular rotation stuff that are going into the room. So we basically have six to eight months planned ahead, if not a year ahead, of what we're gonna cut, when we're gonna cut it, what room it's for, when it's coming down. So everything's super cool. Solid cuts, like the OG right here? Yep, yep, we got OG. You see, we know that we're going into room three. These are extra uh, that we have. A lot of times we just keep them just in case. Uh, I see you got a lot of candy, but you got yeah, some OG well, still. You know, you still carry a little bit of everything. We got the Z, we got Lemon Z stuff. That's the ZBX2, 996. Skittles right now is really like popular, right? Skittles right now? Yeah, all the Skittles. I mean, Skittles done well. It's yeah. A lot of fucking diet Z too. Yes, right? I think the Skittles just goes out fast. I feel like every time I see a Skittle, I get it. Yeah. So all this plant gets dried out. This way, everything is ready for uh, the trimmers once we finish the 
Yeah. We also bag everything up into products, into the bags. Store it correctly. No, all the, all the branded product that goes into stores. The real life sauce. Fire packaging, brother. Yeah, so we process fucking, as you can tell, a fuck ton of, of, uh, hash. of hash fresh frozen for a lot of the different companies. This is an access rosin. I think it's fucking like 85 gallons. This is like a 38 gallon. So between these two machines, we process fucking like 40 to 50,000 grams of hash per day. Wow. Once it's done processing that, then it all goes in here to the freeze dryer where it becomes like the, the, the sift, like the sand like material. Yes. And then they bring it out here, they put it in the little pouches. Press it and then we cure it. So after they press it, it becomes that's what it looks like. Then we get our, our hash. Yeah. This is where it stays. This is, uh, this is what the we pressure. get. Pressure. That is insane. That's what you get out of the beautiful plant yeah. you created. library freezers for all the fresh frozen so once we get in orders and get in product either from the grow or people that we process yeah we gotta make sure that we keeps have it fresh ad ad adequate storage for it until it actually starts getting washed uh, this is the dish ah, this is the we hang out spot this is, uh, <laughs> the, uh, this is dope nate yeah. this is our creative space this is where we make all of our shoes Designs. we have rollers here too they're off today but uh yeah, so we roll everything in house, make all of our own stickers for jars and everything else. Um, the only thing we don't make is, is the bags, but we got all hand rolled. Nice rolled. Yeah, not, custom. Nothing like a hand rolled one, huh? Oh, yeah. Can you show this or not? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can show it. Some of the brands that my boy Nate grows for. Yeah. Damn. Shout out, don't be weird. This is the, one of the newest brands. Wow. That's dope packaging. Don't be worried with the lab too. Stuff here, some of the old packaging and some of the new stuff. Some of the drops would be easy that we did. And this is all some of the new packaging that we got coming up. So yeah, we got some new baklava stuff, the sauce depot and all the, the newer bags. You're not maximizing their potential. It's not the uh, it's gonna be a whack version of it. Right. Everyone wants a whack version of something nice. He started rolling, so now he's a professional roller. And you gotta set the tone, and any, anything that you do, you gotta start from the bottom. I believe in order to. And that's not your regular joint. That's a hash hole. He put a he put some rosin in there too. Appreciate my boy Nate inviting me here to the vibes to grow. Smell like some crazy fire, fam. Candy all around. The secret spot right here, the secret smoke sesh, the legal spot where we can actually smoke, you know? This is dope, fam. Every day you, you wake up and, and basically just grow, right? Or do you... Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to it. So yeah, yeah. Every day you fucking just... Basically like working on your craft. I mean, plants come first. That's our main thing. What that means is like we all got family. We all got fucking shit. That's life. going on. We all got a life, but plants come first. So it's like... The light cycle is at 8 a.m. that the, pl the plants turn on. If people have to be here at 6, then everyone's going to be here at 6. It doesn't matter if it's Labor Day or fucking 4th of July or your grandma's, you know, birthday or whatever the fuck it is. got to like, be here, yeah. Plants come first. So that's like a big thing. Um, you don't want to like not pull, not, not show up the day you had to show up and then the plant messes up. No, you didn't can't. Pull up. Every, every minute detail like actually matters. It's like, uh, it's like neglecting a child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, it's like if he has to eat at that certain time. You gotta eat. You, gotta you eat. know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what it is. You gotta like, change you got a diaper. baby. Yeah. It starts, when you start feeding them, they start with two ounces, then they go to four ounces, then they go to six ounces, yeah. then to eight, and to 12. If you don't feed them in that way, yeah. then you're like, ah, you know what? I got shit to do. I'm not gonna feed them today. I'm not gonna do what I'm supposed to. It's gonna affect them. 
how they grow, how they live, whatever it may be. Same thing goes with the plant. It's like a baby. It is a baby. Female babies. Cheers, family. This is a hand roll to my boy Nate right here. So that's the orange sauce with some of the lemon candy. Mm. Lemon candy rosin, the orange sauce flour. Orange sauce? Yep. Orange sauce. Like super turpy. Yeah, so it's uh, like a little citrus, uh, like a little citrus hash oil. Definitely can't go wrong with a nice little citrus flavors. Get you through the day without fucking you up too much. Yeah, because the OGs, I feel like they'd be, if you smoke it in the morning, you'd be kind of tired throughout the day. I mean, More than like a candy. If you're a functional high, it's really all about taste. Right? I feel like after you smoke a specific amount, you're like, True. you don't you don't get high. Like, yeah, you get high, but it's like you're not like, you know stereotypical stoner couch potato high I can't do shit yeah. like you're functional like you could do shit tolerance yeah, people people care about the ash not that they should <laughs> already leaking we haven't even gone into the actual rosin my boy said too as well We gotta set the standard in anything that you do. You're trying to lead, have people work for you. If you've never done that position, yeah. If you if you're trying to have a grow or whatever business it is, if you've never done that position that you expect someone to do. You're not gonna know how long it takes, how annoying it is. When's the most annoying part? When's the key points that you have to you know? like pay more attention to detail right. to it and make sure that it comes out optimal so it's like all these things if you don't do that from the beginning if I didn't go and flip and do all the shit that all my employees do today yeah. I wouldn't know how to do it best to tell them to do it you did or to monitor them definitely so it's like you you, you, you were hands on with everything even growing everything yeah, yeah. I'm still hands on I'm, even though I have other people you know that help me do a lot of the stuff in order to grow and but it's like so you need a team, you know? Yeah, you need a team, 100%. But you got to know how to delegate, trust but verify, which is a big thing. You know, I trust everyone, but I verify and make sure that it gets done. You know? If you don't do that, it's like, you're just wasting your time. Yeah. It could affect your business as well. Not it could, it will. Yeah. But if you don't verify, because even if you have the best employee that is willing and able and is... Mistakes could happen. Yeah, they could forget. Shit happens. Like yeah. we're humans, kind of like mm -hmm. we forget something that we shouldn't forget, but it could happen. Just about to hit it. <laughs> Cheese, brother. And then when someone tells me that they can't smoke flour because they cough, and this and I'm like, no, man, they're just not smoking the right flour. I haven't coughed one single time, <laughs> and that shit is in. This is. Amazing. It's like wine. Yeah, like we said, there's levels to everything and anything, you know? Definitely. Levels to rolling, levels to the actual product as well. Yeah. There's a lot of gimmicks out too, you know? A lot of people doing a lot of nice packaging and all the different things that may seem appealing and may seem as if it's Definitely. one thing. And like it's fire, but... Sometimes it is. <laughs> Not Sometimes, yeah. It's the orange turps. With the... The citrus turps, yeah. With the lemon rosin inside. So he's combining yeah. both turps in there. Lemon candy with the orange, yeah. <sighs> that tip just blows it perfectly, too. Yeah, the bullet tips are more inviting, I feel like, than the straight fucking glass tips that you get. Still very nice, but this is a nice differentiator. This is insane, family. I have never, I mean, I usually cough at least one cough, you know, like, you know, a little cough, but I have not coughed. There's no reason. There's no reason. There's no reason. It's, it's also freshness and storage, right? Yeah. 
So it's like where you store your wheat. If you store your wheat properly, it could good. It could be a good six to eight months if you store it properly. If you don't, three weeks. Five. It really depends on how you like really store it. You gotta look out for life sauce. If you're ever in like in the LA area, exotic uh, dispensary in which one? Uh, the Goat House. Go. Go Global. Go Global. Yeah, there's, there's a few people I'm that got I'm it. Yeah, that's <laughs> nah, all good. Hit us up on IG and uh, and we'll uh, we'll direct you to the right person depending on where you're at. Yeah, some good smoke, especially the orange chips all the way through. Like that's like literally almost damn near finishing it, but like we still tasting the orange herbs. No, look, it's still good. Again, as long as I I don't feel like oh man, I don't want to smoke this anymore. Yeah, that's like the mark. Yeah. That's damn near towards the end. But I appreciate you guys pulling up, fam. Shout out my guy Nate. For actually you know showing us around it was super dope you know like the girl from the yeah. start to finish always want some pressure for real and he's a really dope guy genuine guy almost done but look at that shit white ash yeah <coughs> <coughs> make sure to smash that like button subscribe fam i love y'all stay safe stay faded till next time peace don't you want the money or the scheme? I had a low, I was trying to fuck around stuff in my jeans. These niggas